We begin our journey with the features of organizations. Every organization is unique, yet there are commonalities that tie them all together. They are hierarchical, specialized, and impartial, with explicit routines designed to maximize efficiency. Each organization has its own culture and politics shaped by the interplay of different interest groups. These organizations are influenced by their surrounding environments and vary in their goals, the groups they serve, their social roles, leadership styles, incentives, types of tasks performed, and structures. These features are crucial as they explain the differences in organizations' use of information systems. Information systems and organizations have a symbiotic relationship. A new information system can significantly impact an organization's structure, goals, work design, values, and more. However, these systems must be designed to cater to the needs of key organizational groups. Information technology can reduce transaction and agency costs, a fact accentuated in organizations using the internet. However, new systems can disrupt established patterns of work and power relationships, leading to resistance. We then move on to Porter's Competitive Forces Model, a tool that helps companies develop competitive strategies using information systems. The strategic position of a firm is determined not only by competition with traditional direct competitors, but also by new market entrants, substitute products and services, suppliers and customers. Information systems help companies maintain a competitive edge by keeping costs low, differentiating products or services, focusing on market niches, strengthening ties with customers and suppliers, and increasing barriers to market entry. We then examine the value chain and value web models. These models help businesses identify opportunities for strategic information system applications. The value chain model highlights specific business activities where competitive strategies and information systems can have the greatest impact. A firm's value chain can be linked to the value chains of its suppliers, distributors, and customers. As we approach the end of our discussion, we explore the concepts of synergies, core competencies, and network-based strategies. These elements can be leveraged to achieve a competitive advantage. Finally, we address the challenges posed by strategic information systems. These challenges can range from resistance to change, security concerns, the need for ongoing maintenance and upgrades, and the ever-present threat of obsolescence. In summary, understanding the features of organizations and the impact of information systems is crucial for any manager. Strategic tools like Porter's Competitive Forces Model, the Value Chain and Value Web Models, and the concept of synergies, core competencies, and network-based strategies can provide a competitive edge. However, the challenges posed by strategic information systems must also be considered to ensure success in the long run.